We've got a momentary push button here. Press that in. Closes the relay. And it puts this precharge resistor across the contacts of the contactor, which precharges the capacitors and the inverter. Once it's charged up, that only takes like a one or two seconds. Then you can turn on the power. Contacts close on the contactor and the inverter's got power. Now the reason I'm doing this, later on I want to automate all this, but for right now, just to get some tests done on the inverter, we're going to do it all manually. All right, we had a request in the last video to come up with some kind of a visual indicator for this pre-charge circuit. What I came up with, I've got some of these LED light bulbs. These, are, these run off of uh, DC 12 volts to 60 volts and they're, they're 3 watts. So what we've got, I put that across the resistor so when I hit the pre-charge button you'll see the light come on and then go off when the capacitors are charged fully. It's pretty quick. Let's make sure the inverter's on so nothing came on so the capacitors are totally discharged. Now I'm going to press the pre-charge button and it's charged up. Let's turn the inverter on and you can see that the capacitors were charged. And there you go. Capacitors were charged up. We turned it on. It ran off the charge on the capacitors and then it shut off. Let's do it again. Pre-charge button. Turn the inverter on. All right, there you go. Let's, um, just for the heck of it, let's just put the light bulb by itself across the contactor and see how long that, that takes to charge. This is just the light bulb by itself. There you go, that's about out. Okay, there's a little demo of that. 